Yes, it is top five in five minutes from the average golfer, and this time it's the best blade irons for 2019. Right, okay, it's top five in five minutes. We'll start the stopwatch very, very soon. But the first comment I've got to make, it's the same I made on every video, is that I have tried and tested each of the products that I'm about to list. And I've also considered the opinions of Team Average when they've had an opportunity to try these. Although to be fair, looking at the list, I'm not sure they have on this one. Anyway, let's get that clock started. Five minutes is underway. And let's start with number five. And it's from Ping and it's the Blueprint Iron. I've got to admit, the blueprint was a bit of a... Um, I wasn't that keen early doors. It was far too small and compact at a dress, and not for a lot of golfers, I would think. Certainly, it certainly aimed at the better player, this one, with no exceptions. But, having tried it on a number of occasions in different tests, it sort of grown on me, and it was... It was not as hard to use as it had appeared visually, let's put it that way. So I found it, and it was very, very consistent in its performance, very, very consistent indeed. And uh, overall, it grew on me, but it's got number five. So first product in, what is number four? Well, it's in from TaylorMade, and it's the P730. Now again, complete opposite to what I just said, a pink blueprint. These things I think look stunning. And again, yes, I say on many occasions throughout the year, I like shiny clubs and these P730s look superb. Yes, they're shiny, they've got that little mill bit through the middle of the back there, which they're so nice sat in the bag. Uh, hard to pick fault in terms of how they looked and again, performed very, very well indeed. I think worth saying all the blades in this test were nowhere near as difficult as what they appear to look like in terms of visually and certainly not the blades I'm used to of old. Negatives about them, very little to be honest with you, absolutely gorgeous iron and perform very, very well indeed. Right, number three, it's in from Callaway, it's the Apex Pro uh, and again, come along early part of 2019, the Apex Pro and I fell in love with this thing straight away. I think it's one of the best looking irons that we've seen if not one, the best looking iron from 2019, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's stunning on the eye. It was a little bit different. It's not your traditional blade, arguably people will call uh, maybe this, there are any others in the list, uh, a muscle back. This one could potentially fall into that category. Um, but I think absolute gorgeous looking, lovely profile, beautiful at address. Uh, again, very, very hard to criticize. And I think the interesting thing is putting this top five together, it's very hard to find fault with any of these products. If you're of the ability to play these things and can get the consistency out of them, no fall offs and drop offs in terms of your strike pattern and numbers, then I would say any of these five you're gonna be absolutely delighted with because the quality of iron has it's been superb this year and I think a real standout. Anyway, enough of that. On to number two, what have we got? We've got a couple of minutes left that we're doing fine. On to number two, this is a tough one. Could have easily been number one, but Mizuno MP20. There was a whole load of media interest in this thing. Uh, they they look absolutely unreal. It's got to be said. I think that anybody uh, would argue otherwise. These things are stunning to look at. Uh, very much one piece, very min minimalistic in their look. And again, in terms of performance, they were superb. I haven't tested these out on the course, only dry ball data, but what they did was they're very, very consistent uh, in everything they did. And uh, yeah, an absolutely stunning iron. But number one, and why is it number one? Well, it's from TaylorMade. But which one from TaylorMade? It's a Tiger Woods iron. It's the P7TW, and it was a limited edition iron. Um, again, arguably, I don't know, does it fit in this list? I'm pretty much sure it does. It's a dead on blade, there's no doubt about it. I first tested this at the YouTube Golf Day uh, back in whenever that was, or was it May or something? I can't remember now. Um, and someone kindly, Lewis Johnson, handed me a three iron to have a go over, and I thought, this is just not what I want, not with a crowd. And I hit that three iron, and I hit many other irons in the set, and I couldn't believe how good they were, how easy they were to use, how forgiving they were for a set of blades, and they were so wafer thin from that top line. Stunning to look at. Um, just 
pure quality, I suppose. There is no way that you can... The, I, the, the reason why this wouldn't end up as number one is because of the price. They were very highly priced and arguably, you know, I should have knocked it down for that reason alone. But for me, it was a limited edition. It was Tiger Woods. It was a standout iron this year in terms of the blades. And for the, uh, that reason alone, it's gotten to number one in what I consider the top five blades of 2019 for the average golfer. Anyway, as I always say, and you've seen from the footer below, it's all about your opinions that really matter. This is very subjective and all about very much personal preferences. Point is, what is your favorite blade iron of 2019? Stick it down below in the comments box below. Even if you've not tried them, what is your, in terms of looks and preferences, if you're going out to buy one of those or any that I've perhaps missed out, what would it be? Stick it in the comments section down below. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. It was top five in five. Perfect timing. See you soon.